this is the energy vibration reading for the Pisces Sun Moon and Rising. It is the second week from May 2018 and I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful positive support. Please like and share these videos. It is the week begin from the 7th until the 13th it is a positive week why because you guys are working in the week with the Empress and the Empress has the energy vibration from the zodiac energy of the hurt so this is balance for you guys because you are a water sign so the hurt energies come to bring you balance so let's see what is going to happen for you Pisces so for you um, Pisces you have to deal with the Queen of Wands let's see what else is happening then you have the energy of um, the eye princess so this is good this is good and then you have yourself and the eye princess so you men your psychic is going to be very much eye and then you have the energy of the Sun so this is this is extremely positive then um, someone is going to try and get away with something which is the Queen of Wands but there is going to come an end to this and a balance is going to come in okay so and there is a situation with a King of Swords so some of you are going to be dealing with a King of Swords because this person is out there so be aware of this you have the king of swords and the queen of swords so um, be aware of this this could be um, a sister or brother or your mother and a father because they're looking out at you so um, be aware of this okay all right so let's look at the situation what is happening in the beginning of the week you're going to have a situation with a queen of wands and this woman is going to or yeah this woman is going to try to get away with something but your intuition is going to tell you something else so let's see what is this woman is going to try to get away with this queen of wands um uh six of cups okay you are dealing with a situation a karmic situation with this um queen of wands okay you're dealing with a karmic situation with this queen of wands and there is a new um offer that is coming in so this um someone who is a aries leo or sagittarius someone from the past is going to um, be coming in and bringing an offer to you okay well should you take this offer or not no you're going to be protecting yourself from this person okay and this is um, this is good whoever this person is you're going to be protecting yourself from um, this person okay let's see what is happening because your intuition the eye princess is very high so what is the eye princess letting you know um, the eye princess is telling you something about the queen the key the and this is someone the the eye princess is telling you something about someone who is an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra and you're in limbo because you're like okay and now you are going to be looking at a situation wow so you're protecting yourself you are protecting yourself you are protecting yourself and this is good because let's see what is going to be the outcomes of this week the energy of the Sun now you have the energy of the ace of Pentacles so whatever the situation is that you're protecting yourself whatever the situation is because um, and some of you are protecting yourself but um, 
from you know you're standing your ground against the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles is someone who is an um, and Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn so let's look at your week because um, um, you're standing you know you're protecting yourself against um, against the Queen of Pentacles and you're standing your your you no know, you're protecting yourself against um, someone who's a um, an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra you're you know you're listening to your intuition it's as if this woman and this man are from your past karmic and you're it's as if because the moon came in with the eye princess and the eye princess is right beside you men listen to your intuition you can't go wrong listen to your intuition because you have something about this could be your boss or someone who is an an Aquarius a Gemini or Libra listen to your intuition about this person and and stand your ground and protect yourself from this person because you whilst you do that you're protecting your your as, as if some of you are in a relationship with an as a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and you are protecting this person yeah you're protecting this person this is so nice and you're also protecting your financial stability so you're protecting this person and also protecting your financial stability energy of the Sun comes out and the energy of the Sun comes out with the ace of coins so um, your financial situation is going to be good at the end of the week you know balance it out because you know you're trying um, to balance out things as, as if um, you're trying to find inner strength with whoever this person is and it's as if this is you know your intuition this could be a father figure this could be your father um because this is if your intuition is telling you something no 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 Hmm. okay I'm seeing something here and some and people are always saying why didn't you tell us what you were seeing but for some of you men out there um, this is not one of the nicest message I want to say to you guys but for some of you men out there there's a situation that is going on with your father and it's as if your intuition is saying to you that he's not going to make it and because there is the, the debt ending and he's at the top and But you're trying to protect yourself, I think, is is from um, from the Queen of Pentacles for whatever reason. You know, it's as if there's an offer coming in, but you're trying. No, there's an offer that is coming in from the Queen of Wands, and this is someone you have known. Or this could be an ex coming in, and there's an offer coming in from her. 
and you're trying to protect yourself because it looks like you're protecting yourself from the queen of pentacles but you're protecting yourself from this lady it's as if this you have known this person before and as if she's coming in and she's pushing something on you and you are thinking no that was my past my future is with the queen of pentacles so it's as if you had a past it's as if your ex is coming back and you're saying no I my future is with the princess of pentacles because this is what I'm seeing and this person was in your past and they're offering you a new and you're saying no and you're in limbo with the situation um, but you're saying no you're saying no I don't know you know and you're protecting yourself because this is where the, the nine of ones is that you're protecting yourself and you're standing your grounds because you're thinking about your future and you're seeing a happy future with the Sun and that sort of a thing and you're protecting yourself because the ace of Pentacles you know you're looking towards your future and looking towards the Sun so whoever is this person this person is from the past and this person is, is offering you something and the thing about it with the eye princess the eye princess is letting you know that there is going to be an ending with your father and this could be your your you know spirit guides uh, they, uh, but it's as if they bring this person back in but she's showing you the future with the Queen of Pentacles and she's saying no don't look back look to the future with this Queen of Pentacles okay because there is where you need to be okay so I'm sorry um, to give the news about um, you know that it's as if she she said to you you know your you know your father is going to be passing on and do not you know look forward with a queen of Pentacles because you know she's going to be there for you and um, she's going to be opening up doors of opportunities for you she's going to make you very rich you know that is what she's saying do not look behind at this person because obviously there is a um, this person came back in your life and it's as if she's saying no I'm standing in uh, I'm standing here look to the future look and go with the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn whoever is this Aries Leo or Sagittarius let them stay behind because they you know the the the, the, the what I'm seeing for you is something much better go fiercely forward this is what um, your spirit guides are saying go fiercely forward and it says go forward fiercely thank you for walking with me every step of the way for holding my hands and giving me um, confidence and courage and guiding my thoughts and action in the direction of love and my true life's purpose okay so what is happening here and um, it can affect the women and men um, it doesn't really matter age um, you know whatever the situation is some of you because um, the crowning of your reading is that you're wondering um, you the crowning of your reading is that you're in limbo about a situation with a father of a mother figure okay and it's as if your spirit guides are letting you know that an end a debt is coming a debt you know and an ending a debt is coming soon and and that is you know lining up with the father figure and somehow there is a situation 
where there's someone from your past came back in your life and this person is the queen of wands this person is a queen of wands so it's an Aries Leo or Sagittarius and that is from a past situation and that is from the past because here she is offering you something she's offering you something and you're trying to get away with it but you're protecting yourself from her okay and it's as if your spirit guard is saying no don't do that go with the Queen of Pentacles because she the after the passing of your father she is going to open up um, new possibilities for you okay so um you know whatever it is for whoever out there um yeah <laughs> this is what I got so I'm wishing you you know um, I'm sorry if um, it's gonna happen and you you know but sometimes um, they need to leave this world and they can help you from out um, the spirit world thank you for being here namaste